Hey there folks, John here with Through My Lens, and today I'm coming to you with a review uh, of a knife sharpener, the WorkSharp Ken Onion Edition. Decided to get out of my normal video studio environment and come up to the kitchen and record this video, because uh, that's, that's actually where I used this uh, sharpener uh, the most during uh, uh, the last few days that I've had this. Uh, normally do sharpening in my garage, but it's winter time and it's a little cold right now to, to do that. So uh, I sharpened about 10 knives, uh, some steak knives, uh, some carry knives in uh, uh, using this uh, WorkSharp Kenanian Edition. Now there's another WorkSharp knife sharpener, that uh, a model that preceded this one, uh, but uh, the one you want to look for is this Kenanian Edition because it does have some, some modifications and some nice features to it. Um, really, let me just get to the bottom line real quick. Um, buy this, okay? This is an awesome, awesome knife sharpener. Uh, this video is a video supplement to the written photo review that you'll find on Through My Lens. Uh, you will see a, a link to the, the, the written photo review in the description box of this video. And I'm going to have a lot more details and, and walk through some of the particulars of, of how I started using it and some of the best practices with it. But, you know, I did want to just get some video footage uh, of the sharpener out there as well. And, uh, but again, the bottom line is best knife sharpening system I've used. Uh, I started off using the Spyderco Sharpmaker. Great system. I love it. I will keep that. Uh, from there, I did get the Wicked Edge uh, Pro system, uh, and I've not had uh, the best of luck using that. I think I'm going to sell my uh, Wicked Edge. Um, it will more than pay for uh, the cost of this unit, which is about $150 uh, thereabouts. Sometimes you can find it a little bit on sale. Amazon's the best place to get it. Uh, I've got a link to that in uh, uh, in my review as well. Um, so. Uh, the system does come with uh, all that you see here, including five belts. Uh, there's one on the unit right now. Uh, here are the other belts. They're a little different color. The inside of the belt uh, does have some, some marking on it indicating uh, what belt it is. They all have different uh, uh, grittiness or different uh, uh, abrasive, abrasiveness levels. And the idea is that you start off in a very coarse, abrasive uh, belt and uh, work your way down. Uh, you're going to need the manual. Don't throw, throw the manual away because the manual has a guide to, to these belts uh, as, as to what order you use them in and, and uh, you know, what, their, uh, what their abrasiveness is. Um, the belts themselves, there's, uh, there's nothing that really uh, intuitive about... Uh, more identifying these belts. I wish they were better identified. I wish it was easier to tell which one comes first, second, third, uh, and so forth. But uh, as long as you hang on to the manual, you'll be able to tell that. Uh, all, the, all the belts uh, uh, are really easy to get on and off the system. Let me just demonstrate that now for you. Um, go ahead and take off this belt that's on it right now. I'll just grab, grab one. A little bit hard to do on camera, of course, as most things are. But there you go. You can very easily do it in about a minute. Uh, Somebody in the forums did ask about how much noise this thing makes. Uh, it's not a lot, particularly if you use the lower settings, which you would mostly use for, for most knives. Um, you know, that's, that's the unit operating at its lowest level. There's a little higher speed for you. But it's, it's not terribly loud. Now, if you did use it at a, at a higher speed setting, uh, which you probably only use if you're going to be working on like lawnmower blades or axes or something like that, along with this 
uh, most abrasive of, of belts, which you probably would not use for, for most uh, cutlery, uh, kitchen utensil knives, or uh, carry knives. Uh, you would stick to the four that you see here. Um, what else? Uh, there, there is a there is a uh, a setting here that you can change to uh, uh, control how the uh, the angle that you're that you're uh, sharpening at. Most knives have a an, an angle which the blade was set, and that's the optimal or ideal uh, uh, angle that you want to sharpen at. Uh, if you don't want to reprofile the knife to a different angle, uh, but uh, with well, with the workshop here, you can go down to uh, uh, you know 15 degrees, uh, 20 all the way up to 30 degrees. Now there's a mark between 15 and 20, between 20 and 25. Um, I don't exactly know. And maybe that's even covered in the manual somewhere. I didn't read it, but. I'm not sure if that's 22 or 23. I'm not sure if this is 17 or 18, but this is just a mark so that you can sharpen somewhere between 15 and 20. That's not particularly precise, and that's going to bug some people who like to, uh, you know, get it down to the half degree. Um, but uh, uh, basically, it has these guides on here that uh, you know you just put the knife into. Like so, once you've set the set the angle right here uh, with the machine running, I'm not going to do it now. But with the machine running, you would just pull it backward a little slower than that, but probably about like like this. You want to make sure that the tip stays about halfway on uh, the belt before you cut power, or you, you would just let go. Uh, of the device and it would it would power down. Uh, don't pull all the way off because you can round or blunt your tip that way. If you stop with the blade about halfway on and just cut power, then uh, you should be fine. You would do one pass, put the knife in the guide on this side, do another pass over here. With most knives, you're going to repeat that three, maybe four times. Uh, and you're done with that belt. At that point, you would you would change the belt to the uh, uh, the next uh, the next belt in, in the progression till you've worked through all four belts. Uh, when I first started, it took me you know 15 20 minutes. Now I can easily do a knife in 10 minutes. I mean that's that is so fast. And the edge that I can put on a knife, uh, as you'll see in the pictures. Uh, on the uh, written photo review, the edge is just amazing. It's as sharp as I've been able to get on any other system, if not sharper, and uh, is prettier. It puts it puts a nice, nice mirror polished edge on a knife that is just absolutely incredible. Uh, and, and the device is easy to use. It's not terribly expensive at one hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, it's fast. It's relatively idiot proof. It's really hard to. <clears throat> to damage a knife on this. Now if you if you put the most coarse belt on there, cranked up the speed and just held the knife on the belt, yeah you're gonna end up with a toothpick pretty soon. Uh, but uh, as long as you follow directions, uh, take a look at some of the best practices that I that I have out there on uh, through my lens and my my uh, uh, written photo review, uh, you should do fine. Uh, the device just works really well. Uh, it's light, it's small, uh, it does have this, uh, for longer knives, some, some like kitchen knives, it has this little doodad here that's on the side that you can use to, to help, uh, help with longer knives to keep them steady. Um, I didn't use it. Uh, it's not absolutely necessary. So uh, when you're not using it, you know, I just keep it in the upright position right there. But it's got a lot of nice features, super easy to use. Uh, definitely want to get the Workshop and make sure you're getting the Ken Onion Edition. That's the newest one. Uh, they've got attachments that are available to it for it to, uh, to handle uh, special circumstances. And they're coming out with more belts too for more specialized sharpening needs. 
Uh, so it's a very well supported device. Um, excellent, excellent unit. Cannot recommend it enough. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Take care. God bless. We'll see you in the next video.